Hi there, this is Jess and welcome back to my Jess talk. Um, I'm actually not quite sure what we are going to talk about today. So yeah, I just improvise like I always do, I guess. <laughs> um, so as for the drawing, I um, told you the last time that we are going to color. At least we are going to set the base colors. Hopefully we are being able to do some shading as well. Not sure. Depends on how fast we are. Um, I've also opened some uh, artworks from Shao and Venti and the one page of the official manga. You should read it, really. You should read it. Um, and I love his outfit so much. Um, so why did I open these? Um, mainly because I want to color pick um, the base colors. Um, I know a lot of artists te will tell you try to use your own colors to pick them via the... Yeah, I don't know what is this thing called in English. I don't know. But yeah, the color wheel, I guess it's called. I don't know. Let me know in the comment if you have an idea how it's called. Mm. But um, in my opinion, or at least for me, it's way easier if I pick the base color from an artwork, at least if it's fan art, so that I already have the base color and just need to yeah, adjust the shade a bit. That is also what I actually already did for these two parts, um, like here, I went here, just picked my, um, yeah, color picker and use this color for the base color because I think this one is yeah better for lighting and yeah I also used the darkest shade which is this one for gold in this artwork I guess I guess this is a bit more darker than this let me check yeah it doesn't 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 matter really it's almost the same. This is a little bit lighter, I guess. So, yeah. That's what I'm going to do now. Um, yeah, so let's get started, I guess. <laughs> so, yeah. As for the skin color, yeah, just pick that one. And now I will go with my magic tool again. Yay! Mm. So, yeah, as I already said I'm not exactly sure what to talk about today but yeah um, first of all if you hear any noises in the background I'm really sorry about that because yeah my dishwasher is right next to my room and yeah it's running <laughs> right now so that's actually what you may hear in the background and I'm really really sorry about that but I really wanted to yeah, start another video so that you won't have to wait that much longer for the continuation of this artwork. So yeah, I'll start with 20 as you can see. Oh, I I, I just kind of said his name weird. 20, that's how, <laughs> how it's pronounced. Um, and yeah, so we are going hopefully to finish most of Venti's base colors. Also I've noticed uh, as I reviewed and edited the last video that come here that sometimes my voice was a little bit louder sometimes a little bit yeah not quieter. That's mostly because yeah my <laughs> microphone is how, how do I say that um, you know my microphone is attached to my wall um, I've made it that way so that it comes from the top um, I may share a picture if I yeah if I want to one day <laughs> but that's basically how my setup looks like and that's also <laughs> an issue uh, because yeah my 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 drawing tablet is much closer 
to the other side of the desk. So what does that mean? My microphone is attached to the wall to my right and my drawing tablet is coming from the left. And of course the cables are long enough, but I don't have enough space on my desk to just drag the whole tablet to the left. And yeah, I'm, my desk is a mess. I won't share a picture of that anytime soon, <laughs> but my desk is a mess. So yeah, that's basically the reason why my voice, yeah, sometimes is a little bit louder and yeah, uh, well, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm sorry about that, but uh, yeah, I, I could, I guess I could change that by just, yeah, adjusting my microphone or my tablet a bit. Honestly, I, I think you just have to live with that for now because yeah, as I already told you, I'm, I'm doing this for fun and um, I guess I won't ever get a professional setup so um for anyone who was expecting me to do that i'm sorry about that but that's not going to happen because this is all about fun and not about making money which is why this channel is also not making any money i could make money with it now because you guys were generous enough to grant me with 1k subscribers thank you again for that but yeah um i you know i i think i've already told about told you about that but yeah doing such stuff here in germany you know like yeah um going freelance is a bit tricky and not that easy and i've done that in the past i already was self-employed at one point in my life and yeah maybe I did a, a lot of things wrong maybe that's why I'm so salty about it but uh, honestly I don't like self-employment in Germany I think it's a scam I think that the government doesn't want us to yeah become self employed and freelance and stuff so yeah just um, that's just my opinion of course a lot of other people will probably tell you otherwise and as I already said I may have made a lot of mistakes and I'm if I haven't done that or if I had known better I may think differently about it now but um, yeah, that's just my opinion right now. And um, yeah, so maybe that will change one day. Maybe I actually will. Let me just, uh, where have I put the line here? And let me just drag and drop this here a bit so that the tool will recognize that area e more easily. Mm. There may come a time when I will change my opinion and will actually yeah, try to make money with this channel. I'm not sure about that right now, but so I won't say I will do that ev never ever. <laughs> but um, yeah, at least for now, this is all about fun. And as long as yeah, you guys like what I do and um, want to see more of my content, I'm happy with that. And that's enough for me right now for, <laughs> at least right now mm. so yeah uh, yeah what you may have noticed right now is that I've tried to fix a bit of stuff I'm ah uh, I may uh, damn I went on the that that happens to me all the time I'm going on the wrong layer to fix stuff that just happens all the time so what I'm doing right now is um, the gray layer you remember that that's basically my master layer for the colors if you want to call it that um, why isn't this working what am I doing differently than normal I'm not sure right now what's happening here uh, 
something is definitely weird. I'm not sure if that's my Clip Studio Paint acting up. Let me just check something. No, that works. Sometimes, you know, that's why I check why I check that that here. Sometimes my tablet or my Clip Studio Paint, one of both, just uh, give up and don't do anything anymore. I don't know why that happens, honestly. That works. Weird. That's also gray. Why won't you gray that part? It's working. Damn it. Oh. What's happening? I'm I'm actually I'm I'm kind of confused. Maybe ah <laughs> uh, okay never mind never mind that I, I'm just dumb. So what happened here? Ah <laughs> oh, damn it! Um, so whenever I use this tool here, uh, you know my my magic tool, um, and I do this, I I just let me go back here. I do this, you know. That's yeah the way to. Uh, select an area that should be colored and every time I do that and accidentally go over another line it may color that line as well which happened here you know Shao's uh, master layer is on top of Venti's so ah okay so there now you can see that so <laughs> what happened was that when I yeah, use the magic tool to fill the whole Shao line arts with the gray tone. I accidentally went over this part as well and this part here. And that, yeah, was the reason why I couldn't color it because, yeah, of course, Shao's master layer was, yeah, on top of it. So, um, yeah. We couldn't see that. So now that's fixed. <laughs> At least. <laughs> Let's continue with his eyebrows and done basically. So yeah, so that's one of the downsides of this tool. It's really nice that it colors the lines the bleh, language. The lines as well. But as you have seen, um it can also be a really really big problem so I am um, nah. I I, I was just thinking of doing something but let me finish the base colors first and then I can show you another trick okay let me pick up because I don't think that's pure white nah, almost pure white I don't like pure white can we take this one um you know, pure white is never good, in my opinion, because now, yeah, okay, in this, yeah, it's, it's it says an animeish look, let's call it that. But for example, uh, is this here? No, it's also almost white. Mm, the reason why I'm looking for not a, such a great white, uh, let me pick that myself. I think I will go over here in, into the bluish. Yeah, let me do, use that. The reason why I won't pick pure white is for one, the background is pure white. So um, if I now use my magic tool and do this, of course I have my master layer, but um, I still, yeah, it would still look too similar to the background. So yeah, I may think I haven't colored it or stuff. So of course I could change the, uh, the background color to something different like, I don't know, uh, green or red or whatever. Mm. But I it has also something to do with lighting in the end because when I'm going to yeah, put the shades in and use some highlights 
or want to add some highlights. Let's call it that. I can't use pure white anymore for the highlights. So now what I could do is, for example, let me clip that layer. You remember that, I guess, I hope. <laughs> And let me now use pure white. Now I can determine if the light is coming from here, which I guess it will come from here because I've already set the, um, yeah, the uh, shadow for the gold a bit. So I can now do this. And now we can see, yeah, there's light, light coming from there. You know, you can see that now. And if it was pure white, I couldn't do that. And that's why I won't ever use pure white. Um, I've done that mistake a lot of times in the past and I'm glad I came over that and I noticed my mistake. <laughs> of course, both works if you won't need shade or if you don't want to add shade uh, or highlights in this case like that. Of course, you don't have to, you know, um, that's just my preference, but I would really recommend you to ah oh no that's also bluish so let's you let's do it like that ah damn okay um I would always recommend to you to either use such a light blue tone or a light gray or light um what's it called um orange I, I don't know do you call it beige as well in English <laughs> not sure um, yeah very very light yeah yeah brownish orange orange or something or green whatever the the yeah the the how, how, how do I say that in English actually you know wings have always a bluish touch at least um, I think they do and uh, most drawings I think they are also the shades are also depicted in a bluish tone so but there are clothes that are that look back better with uh, yeah more grayish tone for the shade and that's also why I pick light blue or light gray so yeah let me think about it I think we may actually change that to a light gray. So what I can do now, um, of course I could now redraw everything, but I could also make it easy. Um, we have this tool here, that's the effect tool for my layer, and I can just change the layer color and can change it to this light gray tone I just picked. You know, you I, I have to have it picked right here so that I can just use the bucket. Of course, I could just use the same, but then I need to, yeah, remember the hex code and whatever. So, uh, or be really precise with picking, which I am not. Um, so I always do it that way and then just fill it up with this both because I want the color to be, um, yeah, that exact tone. I could also use this black. Now it's, yeah, it has changed. Oh, I could also use this. Now you can see I can, with the sub color, I can change the, yeah, the, the, uh, uh, um, how do you say that the, if, uh, if the color should be more light or more dark. So that's basically what I can do with the sub color. I could also use this and now you can see it's more green. Um, so yeah and now you can see in my at my layer this little icon here which shows yeah you have used a layer color here and in order to remove that i can use right click or in my case it's uh yeah on my pen and use raster Re rasterize i think it's in english i'm not sure i'm sorry my clip studio paint is in german so um yeah, but that's basically the one with the hotkey Z. So uh, I think it might be the same hotkey in English. So yeah. And now it's gray. So yeah. Let's see. I also need the wings. And for the wings now I really will use the 
light blue because I think light blue looks way better with wings in my opinion have I yeah and now I will do this very easy okay so what I haven't done is turn off the shades so whenever you re realize that you've forgotten to color something remember to turn off your shades if you want to color pick that base color again because if you turn them on and you ba accidentally hit over here you can see the color of course will change so um, deactivate them just in case so that you really won't will only pick the base color and nothing more mm. let me check the manga i think yeah i think that's a different gold tone they used for the ornaments on his wings so we will also do the same i will pick this yellow tone and go on a different layer and do the same what I really hate about his ornaments is that it's get that it gets really really messy <laughs> on my artworks. Ah, God, what's wing and what is not a wing anymore? That's really difficult to tell sometimes. So, I sometimes I just have to guess and yeah, do it like this. Is that part of the wing? No. No, it's not. I, I I say it's not, so it's not. <laughs> uh, damn. Uh, yeah, this way. Okay. So yeah, you can see I'm I'm using some tricks to, yeah, to make sure that it's all that it, that the tool only colors certain parts. Um, because I already know how it works. So <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm uh bit of a trickster in that case I guess I, I think yeah nah oh, damn it I, I think I may need to color that by hand because the tool yeah it, it's di really difficult to use the tool for circles like this you know like you want only to color this part but if I go like this yeah everything so let's just erase that part again would be easier if I or really would just do what the tool wants me to do but sometimes okay here it's not working anymore I get everything yes okay that's the last part. No, that's the last part. I think it looks okay. Did I forget anything? Yeah, I know we already or we also still need these and we need the flower as well. Let me check with the manga again. Yeah, I also need this tone again for his whatever it's called um yeah i don't need that one and his eye of course and i also need to add the color to his eye so what are we going to do uh that's way too yeah let's use that tone so for his thing is over here oh let me let me just check a second i think i've made a mistake um let me just check another page of the manga yeah i've made a mistake okay i need to erase some lines um i need to erase these lines so now what i can do is since it's a vector layer another positive of the vector layer i can just use delete anchor point and can just do this and delete the whole stuff here if i would be able to select it probably ah okay so 
let's turn off. So now we need to add this part as well. Now we have added it. And now it won't be skin. Uh, let me just change the names. Wing and that was, let's just call it white. Sometimes I'm too lazy to name the things differently, so <laughs> sorry. Mm. Teal. Okay. Ah, accidentally on the wrong. Okay, I wanted to use this this color here. Yeah. So what I've missed is that this part here is also that also got that teal. Teal, teal colored part like here and here these are our glowy parts and I also still need to add his tattoos oh. but I will do that at the end okay I guess we are done with that oh no that one also right Ah, God damn it! I'm ah, I, I did it the the other way around. <laughs> damn. Ah, God. Yeah, that happens. That happens a lot because I. What? Well, uh, yeah, of course. Now it's working because yeah, I I still don't properly remember his outfit. Sometimes I make mistakes like this, but now it's fixed and now it should look like in the manga so let me check again yes okay so yeah that's basically what i do when i do fan art because yeah i wanted to look as yeah similar to the original design as possible so that's why i always open the uh yeah the artworks this way and yeah so let's add color to the eyes e eye and this part is ah let's call it this Oh, I also need oh, the flower. Let's let's use the flower f or let's do the flower first. I think it's a Cecilia as well. Oh, yeah, let's put it over the gold. That's better. And yeah, as you can see, Cecilias are also pictured more whitish, but this Cecilia has more of a yellow tone. So, like I said before, yeah, gray for yeah, grayish things and since the shade of his white parts is also gray I've used gray and yeah for the wings they used gray here also but yeah I don't like it I really like wings to be more bluish so yeah that's where I will different draw differently from the original <laughs> mm. Okay, let's use white for the flower. Oh, I guess that's also part of the flower. But is that? Yeah, that's part of the flower. It is. It is. Now it is. <laughs> uh, sometimes I hate myself for doing stupid lines and not remembering where, what they are for. But that happens and that's okay. You can also always sort them out later. So yeah, what I'm doing now is fixing a bit the parts where I misused. Yeah, I guess we can call it misused the tool. It's still faster than doing it by hand, everything. Uh, at least in my opinion um, and there are a lot of tools like this oh see what it did right here we need to fix that as well so yeah 
because yeah with, with black lines you won't see it at first but we are going to change the line color in a few and then you will see what I mean or why I'm doing this and I may, still may need to fix it off screen because that's really something I guess you don't want to see because that's kind of a yeah boring step to do and I don't want to bore you <laughs> mm, I hope I don't already bore you uh, yeah okay so for the base color for his eyes um, his eyes are so colorful in the sense that we have lots of different shades of aqua and teal in it and blue as well so what I'm going to use is this tone right here um, as a base color and if I'm going to do the eye first I may show you why I do that today if not uh, you will see that in the next part okay now we also need white let's use this yes yeah, it's basically white okay so So the, the next thing that's really helpful for drawing is owning a drawing tablet like I do. Mm, I know they are expensive and you don't have to buy a Wacom. I would always recommend Wacom because they are the superior, superior um, brand all over the world, in my opinion. Um, and so that's why I also begged <laughs> my fiance to buy me one. <laughs> um, and yeah, I actually got mine as a birthday present. So, <laughs> ah, no, it's not the eyebrow, it's the. Uh, I think it's called Lash, right? Lash? Leash? Let, let, let's keep it like that <laughs> I'm not sure oh, that's when my English fails me I'm so sorry mm. but yeah because drawing tablets are a lot more sensitive and you can always yeah use the pen for yeah changing the the line width as I've told you, use your more pressure so it's thicker, use less pressure and it gets thinner. And yeah, that helps a lot. Really, it helps really, really a lot. Um, let's do this. We won't use a line for that, but I think, yeah, it looks better. <laughs> okay. Now, let me just check. Yes, almost, almost just one little thing. Mm. Or oh, two little things. Um, as I've already said, I need that color here as well, that dark blue for this part, because that's actually a part that you can see. Where is my magic tool? Like this. I don't know why there's this line. I'm not sure if you can see that. Let me check. Can you, yeah, you can see that. I ah, god damn it. I I don't know why it does that, and I don't know why I can. Maybe it's because of the. Yeah, it's because of the gray layer. I don't know why it does that. Honestly. I really don't know. Um, why it doesn't go all over the edge that's actually pretty weird but yeah i guess it's okay we can fix it pretty easily so 
It's not the game break or something. Do you, do you say that like that? I, I think I've heard that term before. Sometimes I'm just using English terms because I've heard them and think they are they sound cool or something. Yeah, cool. Yeah, cool is also a German German word, a German term for something being really really great or yeah, awesome or whatever. So if I ever use a word or a term or a, a, a idiom in the wrong way please tell me in the comments because i really want to improve on my english skills mm, and i know i still need to improve a lot at least uh, for well, yeah speaking most <laughs> writing not so much anymore but still yeah i'm, I'm still not perfect and neither so we've done that yeah and the other thing is now we know venti has these teal parts and what i'm going to do because now i could like with the gold shade i could just add another layer clip it and now paint the teal colored strands of hair like this i'm using actually the airbrush for this because I can then then I can do this you know I can just blend it very nicely into the blue so I could use that but the issue with this is the teal color part has shade of its own so there's darker teal uh, no not that let's use this here like this and now if I want to use shade on that that works but if i accidentally go over here you know i i don't think i need to explain that so what are we going to do to fix that it's pretty easily actually because you can not only clip layers to other layers like this but you can also clip folders so i can now use this folder clip it to the hair layer move the teal colored layer into the folder and it works just fine and now if I want to create some shade you see ta -da! perfect I won't do that right now but that's basically how it works I'm just thinking may I maybe hmm. yeah in the manga it's really bright but that's because it's glowing and i can get that by using a highlight layer so we are going with this tone for his braids <clears throat> okay so what we are going to do now is very important if you want if you don't want it to look like yeah how, how can I say that? Um, yeah, like old anime, you know, in, in most old animes, there is this really black outline, the black line art. And um, nowadays, they don't do that anymore. The line art blends in more with the color below. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, yeah, Get the venti line art layer that's this one if you remember i called it venti and basically do the same so now you can see the whole the whole line art except for the eye because i've used that on a different layer has a bluish tone but i'm going to use this tone here that's a tone i've created a while ago for my line arts and if I now change the layer settings to something like multiply, ah, not that one, I need to use this one, multiply, then you can see now it's not dark anymore. And I can do this. And now it's it looks more soft. And yeah, but personally, I like it. A lot more and it still looks darkish and not brownish uh, for the hair so yeah and 
it will change for the wing as well a lot as soon as we add some shades uh, but for now it will still look like this and that's okay but yeah that's how i change my line arts and yeah there are a lot of different ways to do that there's also the, the option in clip studio paint where you can go uh, i think it's this so where you can go to was it edit yeah and i could just use this one um that's basically uh saying a change into your drawing color and that means change into the color you've selected currently so of course i've yeah i could yeah use this but then i wouldn't have the option to do this and sometimes i yeah change it back to an to black because i for some reason i think it looks better with black than with my yeah, brownish option yeah so so that's why i do this and uh, then i still have the original color and i won't lose it that way so yeah that's how i do it i know there are again there are people that uh, use it differently but that's just how i use it so as i said i will fix this stuff off screen because yeah that's really boring and we are already at 41 minutes again. Oh, why is time running so <laughs> much? Oh, God damn it. We are never going to finish this way. <laughs> so, damn. Okay. Um, I will at least try to finish the eye. Um, yeah, let's finish the eye. So now we create a clipping layer. That's the layer for the eye white and I'm going to use the shade because I like that color a lot. Actually, I could just add it here. Uh, yeah, change. Now I have it here. Now I don't need to pick it every time I want to use it. Um, so now we have this balance with the and we multiply it. No, it doesn't change anything because it's white. Okay. So, um, what are we going to do now? What we are going to do now? We are going to pick a lot of colors for his eye. And I'm actually thinking, yeah. So Venti's pupils are not black or dark like for most characters. Um, they have this light tone in it, but it's not as big. I need to make it smaller like this. Yeah, better. More up. Better. So, yeah, I create a lot of different layers now for that because, yeah, I need those layers. <laughs> mm. And now I can just, let me just check the eye. I know I could also drag and drop the whole window and uh, do it like this, but honestly, I can't work with that. Um, it's way more easy for me to do this it this way and yeah just do this um yeah Okay, it doesn't look that bad. Um, yeah, it's long, it's more to the outside. I need to fix that. So, 
So yeah. I actually like Venti's eyes a lot because they are so different from how I draw eyes usually. I my my yeah my all the eyes I draw in my style look a lot more different than Venti's eyes. So <laughs> It's actually quite fun drawing his eyes uh, in this style because, yeah, it's it's different and I like different sometimes. Not every time, but sometimes. <laughs> okay. So now we've used the dark colors and I want to use this teal as well. So, okay. Now what I'm going to do, let's check. No, that's better. Okay. Yeah, I always like to play around with the layer settings because you can get a lot of different effects just by using them. Like, um, yeah, light or, or glowing effects, especially, especially glowing, eff glowing effects. I, I really, I really, um, do that a lot lately and <laughs> I need to stop myself from overusing glowing effects on my artworks but <laughs> I just love them so much I just love using glowing effects okay and now what I'm going to do is on top of the line art layer I'm creating a new layer and this layer I always call it shine for some reason. Don't ask me why, please. And I use a pure white tone. Use the G pen tool because that's the one I've always used. Yeah, it's here. And I use this. I fix it around here. Actually, I don't need to use it over the line art layer this time. I can I can just drag and drop it here. Um, why I'm using it over the line art layer sometimes is because yeah, of my own style. Whenever I draw eyes, let me create another layer, and I add the highlight like this. I don't know. Does this does these do these white blobs have a name? not sure but mine always go over the line so that's the reason why i need to do them on top of the line art layer of course i could delete the lines of the line art layer here but i really don't want my artwork to be destructive in a way so when i you know like um now i see the this looks weird let's drag drop it here and if I would have deleted the line you know that would just look weird <sighs> I love his eyes so much <laughs> ah, you why do you have so really really so beautiful eyes why do you have so beautiful eyes uh, yeah it was this one let me just check something yeah looks better I just changed the layer settings to add and so now it's a little brighter so yeah I is done <laughs> and now to the yeah lash leash I still don't know what how it's called I I always do this mistake I, I really hate it but yeah I really need to remember how it's called. Add it as multiply and ta da! Yeah. So his eye is done. Okay. Um, and yeah, we are already at 50 minutes, so I'm going to stop here. Mm. Yeah, what I can do now is I could add Charles colors off screen as well while I'm fixing the line stuff 
you know, like this here, or that, or that. Um, or I could use the next part for it. Let me know in the comments what you prefer. And yeah, that's it for today, I guess. <laughs> um, let me just do one little thing. Ah, that looks weird. Okay. Yeah, that's because the skin color is below that, is beneath that. But we can... I know I said I would stop, but that that's the issue, you know? Whenever I'm drawing and I say something like that, don't take it seriously because... Yeah, I won't stop. <sighs> I, I won't stop. Ah, should I, should I, should I, should I? Ah, I, I will, I will do that next time. I'm, I'm not sure about that right now, so I'm going to delete that layer again. So yeah, but yeah, we finished Venti's layer. Let's go to 100%. There you can see it. And if we fix the... lines as well it will look a lot more pretty pretty eyes yeah so that's it for today and as i already said please let me know in the comments if i should add shower's colors with the next session or if i should do it off screen and yeah we can so that we can continue with shading and adding highlights um, in the next part at last <laughs> mm. yeah so i hope you had fun and yeah i hope you are pulling for kazua pull for kazua <laughs> um because animal characters need more love and kazua is one of them and yeah of course i'm going to pull for him and i have him at 100 percent so yeah i will get him for sure <laughs> Okay, so yeah, let's see you next time and have a nice day, have a nice weekend. Bye bye.